Okay, so in this video, we're going to go over step five, which is exploring possibilities. Typically, we would do, you know, three or four, but uh, since we're trying to conserve some time here, I'm going to have you come up with two different uh, possibilities. So uh, just looking at uh, two different sketches uh, that I put together. And again, these are kind of coming off of um, some of my brainstorming ideas. So they were ideas one and four from brainstorming. They seemed like they would hang nicest on a shelf. Um, this one seemed like it would probably wobble back and forth. This just seemed really difficult to put together, even though it would look pretty cool. Um, and then, you know, I hadn't really thought about how things are gonna go together yet here. So one of the things I'm looking at is using some of the ideas from research. So I really like the way this tab locks into place on this one. So I'm gonna try this on the top of one of them. And um, on the other one, I like the how the bottom locks together it doesn't require any glue so I'm going to give that a shot um, on one of my designs so here's looking at uh, the first one so this triangular kind of pattern you can do this on graph paper if you want you can do it on plain paper I don't care if you want to do this on one piece of paper and this on another one um, and again these dimensions they're not going to be perfect yet uh, we're just working off the product so like to get the triangular shape I just I stuck my um, my glue stick right on here that I'm using for my product and then I traced around to figure out how big I need to make it um, and I'm just kind of estimating some sizes mm -hmm. off of here so try to draw a decent isometric or pictorial there is a uh, graph paper available I'll show you that uh, in a little bit that you can print out uh, if you didn't take the survey from last week I asked if you needed graph paper delivered uh, I can try to drop that off um, this week in your mailbox uh, if you get that survey filled out or shoot me an email um, so just a little more refined from my thumbnails looking at you know what size is it actually gonna look like um, thinking about where things are gonna glue together thinking about some angles and then try to imagine what it's gonna look like as a flat pattern so hopefully your research when you tore a box apart that should help you with it uh, so I labeled this one um, because of the way it's put together in this triangle here everything kind of has to glue together um, so this kind of tab will have to fold back underneath right here and you'll have a glue tab on the side to get your little product window here. Uh, I did my best to try to put some dimensions on here to show like the overall flat pattern will be about eight inches tall, and about six and three eighths of an inch wide. Uh, I didn't draw the window separate or anything. I'm just looking for the panels and it's not to scale. Um, this is really about half scale. I'm not worried about that. You, you draw it to proportion, you put your numbers on there. Next week when we get into drawing the final ones, yes, we'll draw it to scale on some graph paper. Um, my second one, um, so this is uh, kind of a scaled isometric here. I tried to do the best I could on the grid paper uh, to draw that to size. Again, you can do this on plain paper. And then this is my flat pattern. I drew that a little bit smaller. I didn't have enough room to fit that all in one. Uh, and I'm gonna attempt that uh, locking tab on the bottom of this one. Uh, so I've got a couple dimensions on here to show me the overall size of the package here and the isometric. And then my flat pattern, uh, 7.75, and then the width is five and three eighths just a couple notes about where things glue together um, this is like the lock tab on top and these are the locking tabs on the bottom um, so just a couple things to help you out now uh, looking um, I did post uh, three different graph papers that I just drew up in in CAD you can print these out um, so there's quarter inch grid eighth inch grid and this is an isometric if you want to use that for your uh, pictorial sketch Again, you can use plain graph paper or, or plain paper, uh, but these are available for you. Uh, if we look uh, in Explore Possibilities, there'll be a printable graph paper folder. Uh, just try to make sure when you print that, you print that uh, without any distortion. Uh, again, uh, remember to put this in the same PowerPoint that you have been. Some of you had difficulty uploading. Please make sure you save the document, close it, and then upload it. If, if you, you know put your pictures in here and go right to upload, I don't get the last things you added it it's from the last save so again please save and then close and upload uh, and this will be due uh, by the end of the week here I have a due as the following Monday uh, do your best to you know stay with those uh, guidelines uh, if you're having trouble please shoot me an email again office hours are between 8 and 11 I'll get back to you right away if I can uh, during that time if not uh, by the next morning hope you're doing well